Jackie Laura stealing my heart. heart. Cloudy and Wolfie make me howl at the moon. Oh. Really, you're a fine fish and this lagoon. I feel the now, you so beguiled. Even though you act so vile. Oh. And do says stone cold style. Oh. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Oh. Don't you want to be your monster too? Can you believe school is over? It went by so fast. Oh, uh, we gonna get to see each other at all over the summer? I'm sure my parents are mad now. They'll come around. I hope you're right, Freshy. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. The worst part about school ending? Realizing your brother left his old gym socks in your locker? Gross. No, missing out on all the juicy gossip. Which is why I signed up for auto updates on the ghostly gossip. What's that? Only like the foremost authority on the Monster High social scene. If it's happening, she blogs about it. Who is she? Nobody knows. She's like a mystery dipped in secret sauce. Oh, can Gil and Laguna survive the summer? <laughs> Drama! Come on, Manny. Can't you give me a break? Sure, Normie. What do you want me to break? Your glasses or your arms? It's against the rules, the bully. Who are you calling a bull? Did I just walk into the monster preschool? No. Then why are you acting like such a child? What would your sister Minnie think of this behavior? You're not gonna tell her, are you? Leave him alone. Thanks, uh... Frankie, I know how hard it is being the new kid here. I mean, like, you don't fit in. I fit in my lockers, trash cans. You'd be surprised what those guys fit me into. I'm, um, Jackson. Nice to meet you, um, Jackson. <laughs> We can't let my dad find out that I broke my eye coffin. It's just one more thing he'll use to compare me to my older sister, Nephera. Thank Ra she's out of the country, too. Uh... She once threw a huge party. She blamed it on me. And that's why I'm never allowed to have a big party at my place when my dad's out of town. Cleo's dad out of town. Big party at her place tonight. Big party at Cleo's house tonight? It's all over the school. Do you want to go to Cleo's party with me? Um, sure. I, I mean, uh, I want to. You're nervous around monsters, but you'll be with me. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> uh, I mean, cool. Whatevs. <laughs> Meet you there. Wow. Careful. How do we get in? Like this. She's out getting her new phone. Wait, how did she send the text about the party? Well, she didn't. The ghostly gossip did. Oh, <gasps> so Clea doesn't even know about this? Oh, no. That means we broke, broke in. in. Quick, we've got to get everyone out before... Oh, my. Raw. Um, uh, we can explain. You threw a party for me? Awesome. Jackie Laura stealing my heart. heart. Cloudy and Wolfie make me howl at the moon. Oh. Really, you're a fine fish in this lagoon. I feel the now, you so beguiled. Even though you act so vile. Oh. And do says stone cold style. Oh. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Oh. Don't you want to be your monster too? This party is epic! Blood, 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 blood! Pizza domination! Oh, did you see me own those three? It was. I, I can't be around you right now. Grampy thinks her dog is a pig, kicks him to curb. I am sizzling. Cleo endangers guests with busted party favors. How's Gil enjoying his summer vacation so far? He hasn't returned any of me texts or emails. His folks were pretty aggro about him being with me. It's the first day of vacation. Uh, he's probably just busy. Yeah, sure. Hey, Heath, have you seen your cousin? He was supposed to meet me here. You got stood up by Jackson? Awesome! Oh, eh, but don't feel too bad about it. What do you expect? He's a normie. Just go in there. You can do this. No, you can't. You don't belong. Nobody wants you there. Frankie does. She's not dumping you, dude. She totally is. I eat like a pig. 
Typical wolf behavior. Of course, Dracula is gonna be too embarrassed to be with me. Yo, this ain't a party. <laughs> this is a party! Yeah! Let's do this. Your boy, hold hard on the squeals of steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo, hot powered hottie. Who, me? Yeah, you're the only one electric enough to save me! Oh, the time. Yeah! oh, please. I know I'm an animal, but I can change. If you just give me another chance. I don't want you to change, silly. Then why'd you push me away? Because you are eating garlic. I'm a vampire. I can't be around you when you eat that. Now go brush your teeth and we'll dance. <laughs> this party really got out of hand. Every monster who's any monster showed up. There's already dozens of pictures up on the ghostly gossip. Remember when his sister Nephera threw that bash and blamed it on Cleo? I'm worried about her getting into trouble. She was grounded for a month. Big shout out to Cleo for throwing the bash of the century! Wow. Even when I don't know about it, I still throw the best parties! Yeah, but if your dad finds out my father is out of town, he won't find out unless somebody tells him. And who would do that? That would be me. Never! What are you doing back? Don't worry your mediocre-looking little head about that. You've got bigger things to worry about. Like how to keep me from telling Dad about this party. Please! Don't tell him! I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> That's what I'm counting on. Prepare yourself, little sister. This is going to be the worst summer of your life. <laughs> won't let her go to Necrocon this year. Oh. <sighs> Wasn't today the last day? She was waiting all summer for this. Dead Fast is her favorite comic. She has every issue. Except one. The scarce and elusive Dead Fast issue zero. Only one copy is known to exist, and they were going to raffle it off today at Necrocon to one lucky monster. And her dream is to be that monster. But she can't go. I just wish there was something we could do. Mild-mannered high school student Gulia Yelps finds herself at the Necrocon, surrounded by her fellow nerd, uh, comic book lovers. Great galloping ghost! Is it? Can it be? Yes! It's a mint condition, dead fast, issue zero, the rarest comic book known to man or monster! Tis I, the Shadow Porcher. Behold, your precious comic book now. I shall destroy its value. Oh, the humanity! Can anyone stop the Shadow Poacher before it's too late? <laughs> Bitten by a radioactive hummingbird, mm, dead fast, once a normal zombie boy, has been granted the power of super speed. And now, those same powers have been transferred to his number one fan. Go get him, Coolia! <laughs> Taking it out of its protective sleeve. No! And for my final act of disrespect, I shall leaf through its pristine pages. For drinking a sticky soda and eating cheese puffs. Ah! How did you get up here? Never matter. Have a nice trip. Oh. <laughs> Julia, you've defeated the evil Shadow Poacher and restored the comic to its rightful place. Comic book lovers everywhere owe you a debt of gratitude. Uh. Leo, 
I can't believe you were able to get that for her. It's easy to win a raffle when you can make all 10,000 of your servants enter. That is so sweet of you, love. Well, she does so much for me. I thought I should do something nice for her. But don't tell anyone. It'll totally ruin my rep. <laughs> This lagoon. I clear the now, you so beguiled. Even though you act so vile, oh. and do says stone cold style. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Oh. Don't you wanna be your monster too? You know the only thing good about summer being over? Back, Back to, to school, school shopping. shopping. Hide home goals, show and tell time. Let's see what you got. Oh, cute earrings, ghoul. Burberry. Sweet bag. Is that the new box Nacobs? Oh, the John Mall Ghost DA. Oh, Bully Boobah. Corbana. Sasquatchy. Cadaver. Here you go. Laguna, everything okay? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's just, well, I haven't heard from Gil all summer. I'm worried about him, you know? Well, don't be worried. He's probably just busy. <gasps> Wow, I bow to your superior shopping ability. As much as I love people bowing to me, none of this is for me. What? It's all for my sister, Never. I can't believe she's still blackmailing you for the party. Believe it. She makes me wait on her hand and foot. Your sister's so mean. My gorgeous, perfectly shaped ears are burning. I don't mind when people talk about me. It's when they stop talking about you that you have to worry. Well, well, well. Very nice. I want them. What? <laughs> I want all this. No way! Fine. Then I'll just tell my father about Cleo's huge party when he was out of town. He may only ground her for a year. You win. That's it. Here, according to your watch, I mean my watch, I'm going to be late for the salon. I'll be back. Miss me. I don't think I've ever met someone as low down and despicable as Nephra. Just when you thought our day couldn't get any worse. Coralai and her girls are back. She's gonna be gunning for us. We've got bigger problems to deal with, like stopping my sister. Yeah, I got more shopping to do, but forget it. Nefra's just gonna take it anyways. Did you see that Nefra's back in town? She's always wearing the new trends weeks before anybody else. Let's go see what Nefra buys so we can steal her look. Let's go shopping. What's going on? <laughs> you all look ridiculous. These are the hottest trends of the season. They're in all the magazines. We're the first to wear them. They haven't even seen them here yet. But being a world-famous model, you already knew that, didn't you, Nefera? Of course I knew that. I was merely, um, testing you. Please, don't take these from us. They can't be replaced. Hand them over. I can pull off this look. You guys, not so much. You're absolutely right. Now, I think I'll walk around the mall and bask in all the jealous looks I get. Ta-ta. Never is never going to be able to show her face in the mall again. Oh, my roar! This is the best day of my life. Um, just when you thought this day couldn't get any better. You look hot. <laughs> <laughs> M-O-N-S-T-E-R Monsters, monsters, yes we are Hey, Vegas got me falling apart Uh, Dragulora stealing my heart Heart? Claudine Wolfie make me howl at the moon oh. And you're a final special this lagoon I clear the now, you so beguiled Even though you act so vile oh. And Deuce has stone cold style These are my boobs, my skeleton crew A little strange, but so are you oh. Don't you want to be your monster, too? Hey, new girl! Carry your books for you, baby? My name not is Baby, it is Abby. 
Ugh. I can't believe we're back at school already. I like starting school. All the mystery and excitement. I bet this year is going to be shocking. <laughs> Why are these things so small? It's the same locker you had last year. Yes, but I have a whole year's worth of new clothes now. Plus makeup, shoes, color-coordinated handbags. Books, school supplies. Yes, there's room. Need a hand? Ooh, so strong. It's from the ghostly gossip. New girl gives Heath Burns the cold shoulder. <laughs> I wonder who she is. Who has time for new ghouls? Right. <laughs> hey, I was a new girl. Ooh, I'm dying to know who I have for Biteology. Has anyone seen Laguna? Uh... You're right, Guya. She's probably with Gil. They haven't seen each other all summer. I've taken the liberty of enrolling you in every advanced math class we offer. Uh, no. I know you. To the challenge. Hey, Torlai. How was your summer vacation? <laughs> oh, right. You didn't get one because you were at math camp the whole time. You're the ones who got me sent there by messing around with the test scores. Serves you right. You were trying to get the fair leading team disbanded. Who says I'm done? Anyway. It's not like I learned anything at that stupid math camp. What's the square root of 568? 23.832. Hey! Laguna, what's wrong? It's Gil. His parents were so mad, they sent him away to another school. <gasps> <laughs> Laguna! Hey, Jackson. Oh, hey, Frankie. Missed you at Cleo's party. Yeah, I was going to show up, but I uh, had to change. Hey, new girl. Our seats. I stay. Do you know who I am? Mean girl with sandpaper tongue. Oh. Take your seats, everyone. Class books open to page one. Hey! <laughs> Claudine was right about new ghouls. Ugh. You want game? I give you game. You too, principal's office, now! <laughs> I, I can't believe this. I've never been in trouble before. Aren't you worried? You threw Snowball at me first. Principal will bring Hammer down on you. <gasps> but I didn't. This is all a big misunderstanding. I understand perfectly. You want war with Abby? You get war. In this lagoon, I clear the now, you so beguile, even though you act so vile. Oh. And Deuce has stone cold style. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew, a little strange, but so are you. Don't you want to be a monster too? We simply cannot have this kind of behavior. Monster High stands for acceptance, understanding, and tolerance. To help you learn these qualities, you will spend the entire day together. What? Not possible. These magic bracelets will bond you together. You must stay less than three feet apart until three o'clock. You will spend every second together until then, and I think learn something valuable. And if more than three feet apart? The study howl of eternal homework. <laughs> oh, and fiery demons will descend upon both your homes, but mostly that study howl of eternal homework thing. Okay, being stuck with you is less than the ideal sitch, but I say we make the best of it. Just tell me, why did you start the snowball fight? I don't get it. I mean, I'll totally understand. I'm very understanding. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> this I don't get. This Frankie acts so nice. But then why she does these lies to me? It was you who was instigator. Well, guess you don't want to tell me. We'll deal with that later. So, where are you from? Mountain top in Himalayas. Oh, cool. Which one? I think you would not know. Oh, okay. Um, I really like your necklace. This small top is not necessary. People here talk too much about too little. Sometimes it's better to just close the mouth. Wow. Rude. But I am not rude. I am helping to save her breath. So confusing. Frankie does not like me already. We must get to class. You're right. I can't get another tardy or I'll be in Toad's trouble. Let's go. 
We'll make her like me more by showing most efficient route to glass. Hey, wait, wait! We have to stay together! Stop! I fix. Ah, <sighs> you ruined it. I can't drink this. But that is how we drink it in the mountains. It's the best. I hoped she would love this. Hey, baby. Uh, I mean, Abby. Uh, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Burns. Heath Burns. Wow! Cold hands! <laughs> uh, but I know how to warm your heart. <laughs> Glacial facial! This Heath. He is Hailstone that thinks it is Iceborg. Yeah, that's him. Uh, I guess. Yeah, you better run. Didn't I tell you I hate red? <laughs> Rules say no horseplay in Hull. This includes the bull. Wow, you really saved my bolts right there. Do not mention it. Hey! <laughs> Such a cretin. M-O-N-S-T-E-R Monsters, monsters, yes we are. Hey, think it's got me falling apart. Uh, Draggy Laura, stealing my heart. Claudine Wolf, you make me hallow the moon. Really, you're the finest fish in this lagoon. I clear the now, you so beguile. Even though you act so vile. Oh, and do says stone cold style. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew, a little strange, but so are you. Don't you want to be your monster too? Now is lunch. All my friends are in the creepateria. I can't let them see us together. Hey, Abby! In mountains, we begin new friendships over meal. Um, you know what? I usually just sit outside by myself. Hey, Frankie, over here. Oh, no. I will impress them with my keen observational skills. They are all very pretty. No, too obvious. Let's see. Your eyebrows, they are like mountain. You are short, like baby yeah. This outfit, I think you try much too hard. What time do these bracelet thingies come off? Three o'clock. Laguna's swim meet is at two o'clock, and she needs all the support she can get right now. You and your cold-blooded buddy should not come. I've been trying all day to be nice to you, and now you're rude to my friends? You hit me with a snowball for no reason. What did I ever do to you? I try so hard to make friends with them. Perhaps I am not meant to have friends yet. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm sad now. It's so surprising. Well, yes. You seem so cold. I didn't think you cared or, like, had any emotions. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> I have to go to restroom. You gotta stop doing that! <laughs> Did you see the new ghoul and Frankie trapped together? They didn't even realize it was me that threw the first snowball. Now we just have to get the rest of the fear squad. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, that would have been embarrassing. I got it! When Cleo and her ghouls go down to talk to Laguna after the swim race, we'll come from behind and push them into the pool. Total embarrassment. They'll be sorry they ever messed with me. Come on. Look, I'm sorry I thought you threw the snowball at me. I should have known it was Torelai. That wasn't cool. So, will you come with me to warn my friends? No. What? Why not? Because I have better plan. No running. It's wet. Wow! Great race, Laguna! Thanks for coming, mates. Hey, where's Frankie? Oh, she couldn't come. She's all tied up. Ready? <laughs> Thanks, Abby. I know to you I seem harsh, but where I'm from, air is very thin. We cannot waste our breath with pleasantries. It is just our way. Looks like you are no longer stuck with me. We'll be going now. Hey, wait! We were gonna go to the mall and hang at the coffin bean. You wanna go with? This I would like very much. <laughs> <laughs> M-O-N-S-T-E-R Monsters, monsters, yes we are Hey, think it's got me falling apart Uh, 
Jackie Laura stealing my heart. heart. Cloudy and wolfy make me hell out the moon. Really you're a fighting fish in this lagoon. I clear the now, you so beguile. Even though you act so vile. Oh. And do says stone cold style. These are my boobs, my skeleton crew. A little strange, but so are you. Don't you wanna be your monster too? I can't believe we missed that big party last night. We didn't miss anything. The ghostly gossip's got all the pics on her blog already. Hipster hold hide heats up another big time bash. That hide is way dreamy. Careful. That's Frankie's crush you're talking about. Ooh. Cut it out, you guys. He is not. <laughs> Speaking of Frankie crushes, Jackson. Frankie, you need to charge over there and shock some sense into him. He stood you up at Cleo's party. I don't know. Come on, Come on do it. Go. Hey, Heath. Hey, Jackson. Heath, can you give us a oh, minute? Scorching. Why didn't you go to the party? Oh, I did go. I remember being outside trying to get my courage up, and then, oh, nothing. I must have been so nervous, I blacked out. All that loud music, and there's just so many people. Plus, you make me nervous. Me? Why would I make you nervous? I'm the one who gets nervous. Because I really like you, okay? Anyway, I'm, I'm sorry if you had a lousy time. It's all good. The party was cool. There was a great DJ there. Maybe you've heard of him. Hold Hyde? Nah. I don't know. Hold Hyde is the awesomest! I got to carry his equipment last night, which I totally own, Dad. Thank you. So, hey, if you'd give me another chance, um, I'd love to take you out. There's a silent movie playing at the Revival House. That's, that's a little more my speed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that sounds great. Great. I'll, I'll see you there at 7. Look, Ghouls, we're just going to the movies. It's no big deal. Have your boat come loose? It's your first date. It's a huge deal. This is too big a deal for Frankie to do all by herself. Deuce and I will double with her. Claude and I will go, too. It'll be a triple. Claudine, you have got to come, too. I wouldn't miss it. Well, I guess you guys don't need me around to plan this. I'll just be going. This is so interesting. This is historically accurate. Monster normie relations were not good in the 14th century. You're so smart. Sorry all my friends tagged along. As long as I get to sit next to you, I don't care who else is around. Claude, wake oh. up! Oh man, it's not over yet? Great not. Boring. Come on, bring it. Do you know what this oldie but moldy needs? A banging soundtrack. <laughs> oh, oh, check oh. that out. Sorry, I, I didn't know they... Hey, you okay? No, uh, I'm sorry, Frankie. Uh. Jackson! <sighs> I can't believe I got stood up again. What do you expect from a Norman? I thought Jackson was different, I guess. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! Oh, it's been too long. You miss me? Um, do you mind? I'm kind of on a date here. Yeah, with me? Wow! Love the music! Jackson, are you out here? <laughs> Not cool! <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, not again. Jackson! What is happening to me? Your sister Nephra, still harsh and your mellow? Totally. Ugh. I wish that party never happened. Ew, you smell like a wet dog. Whoa! Jackson, wait up! You don't need to explain. I know that you moved on. You're not making any sense. Look, it's my fault. I get it. Well, I don't. I was just starting to like you. You, you. Trouble with one of your boyfriends? Frankie Stein dates two boys at same time. Is there a third we don't know about? What? Three boys? As if? Ugh, if one of you didn't tell the ghostly gossip about this, then one of you is the ghostly gossip. <gasps> hey, Gills. What's shaking? One of us is a traitor. 
<laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, please. No one loves gossip more than you. What about Claudine? She knew about your date with Jackson before anybody. Me? What about Cleo? That party was probably her idea. My phone was broken. It couldn't have been me. What about Frankie? You're crazy. Julia, hack the ghostly gossip's blog. Find out who it is. <sighs> you can't? Maybe because you are the ghostly gossip. I don't, I don't believe you. Leo. Now, Look what she's doing to you. This needs to stop. What if we set a trap? We just need something that the real ghostly gossip can't resist. Something juicy. Our, Our diaries. diaries! Okay, everyone, put your diary in the middle and count down from ten. The diary that's untouched belongs to our traitor. Ten. Nine. Eight. <gasps> Look! <gasps> hey! hey! You've got some nerve. Who are you, anyway? My given name is Spectra Vondergeist. Why are you trying to ruin my life? I just got it, you know. Ruin your lives? Heavens, no. I'm actually a fan of all of you. You've got a weird way of showing it. I simply had to document you. Let others live through your exploits. You could have asked us first. I was too shy. But you're the ghostly gossip. You're famous. Sadly, I must remain a mystery. As such, I don't have any friends here. We'll be your friends, Spectra, and we'll keep your secret. But you have to promise you won't write any more stuff about us. Most of it wasn't even true. My apologies. Sometimes I only hear half of what you say, and it's up to my artistic side to fill in the blank. Yeah. I I mean, come on, three boys. <laughs> I don't even have one. <laughs> Wait, so I'm not the third? Sorry. Unbelievable. Why does this keep happening to me? Oh, my chest. Who's that? <laughs>